Yes, and, uh, so this problem is uh, on lines inclined to both the reference planes. Okay, yes, please see the question. The front view of line AB, yes, front view of line AB inclined to XY and measures 55 mm long while its top view is 60 degrees inclined to XY line. If end A is 10 mm above the HP and 15 mm in front of VP, draw its projections and find true length inclination uh, of line with HP and VP. Yes, so what are the given in this question and uh, then front view of line AB is 60 degrees. Okay, so draw the front view of a line 50 degrees to the HP and the length of this line equal to how much 55 mm so front view line equal to how much so the line sorry length of the front view is 55 mm length of the front view is 55 mm okay so long while it's top view then so top view draw the top view line 60 degrees to the 60 degrees to the xy a reference line okay so next the point a is a 10 mm above the hp the point a is 10 mm above the hp 10 mm above the hp and 15 mm in front of vp 15 mm in front of vp 15 mm in front of vp okay so uh, in this case you just you need to uh, identify the given data so after that so you can draw all the diagrams that means uh, answer very easily okay so in this case yes you need to identify sorry you need to calculate the true length and uh, inclination line with hp and vp that means true inclinations that means theta and pi so theta means true inclination with hp and pi is the true inclination with the vp so please see the processor how to draw uh, this answer okay so uh, see here this is the question that means previous one so first you have to draw one horizontal line so in manual drawing as well as in AutoCAD software okay so in manual drawing so uh, so we are using the uh, drafter instead of the software okay the next one is uh, the length of the line is AB okay so the length of line is AB okay so in this case if end A is 10 mm above the HP and 15 mm in front of VP, the end point A is, where is the end point? A is 10 mm above the HP and 15 mm in front of VP. So that, draw the 10 mm above reference line, above the HP, okay, and so draw the and 15 mm in front of VP. So already you know that uh, so way to draw the above the HP line okay so way to draw the uh, below reference uh, way to draw the uh, 15 mm uh, uh, that means in front of VP line okay so if you have any doubts regarding this above the HP in front of VP so please see the uh, so previous videos okay then so after that locate your points okay so this one is the a dash this one is the a dash that means one and a dash and this point is the a this point is the a okay so after that so draw the uh, top view line the top view makes 50 degrees to the x y line okay so in this case so not given uh, true length so not given true length so that draw the top view line from a dash point the length of this line equal to how much 55 and uh, so this line is uh, makes i think 50 degrees yes 50 degrees given in this question yes okay so after that so draw the locus line like this draw the locus line okay yes this one is completed next yes next one is next data so please see the question so while its top view is 60 degrees inclined to xy line very simple so in this case so angle not given that means top view angle uh, not given so that uh, draw one inclined line 60 degrees to the hp 
ओके सॉरी टॉप व्यू एंगल गिवन बट सो द लेंथ ऑफ द टॉप व्यू लाइन नॉट गिवन ओके इन दिस केस प्लीज सी द प्रोसीजर हाउ टू ड्रॉ द सो दिस टॉप व्यू लाइन विथ सिक्सटी डिग्रीज ओके सो बिफोर ड्रॉइंग दी सिक्सटी डिग्रीज इंक्लाइन लाइन सो ड्रॉ वन वर्टिकल लाइन लाइक दिस ओके सो ड्रॉ वन वर्टिकल लाइन फ्रॉम दिस लोकस लाइन आफ्टर दैट so draw 60 degrees line 60 degrees inclined line 60 degrees inclined line from a this is the top view of line yes 60 okay then draw the 60 degrees line okay so see here so in this case uh you will get one intersecting point one intersecting point this is the intersection point this is the intersection point okay Yes, this is the intersection point. Okay, so after that, from that point, draw one locus line. Yes, draw the one locus line. Okay, draw the one locus line. Yes, see here. So this is the top view line. So uh, the length of the top view not given in this question, but how to draw this top view very simple draw this vertical line okay so after that so take a 60 degrees and draw this line and identify the intersection point of the uh, these two lines okay yes after that remove the unnecessary portion that means extra portions okay yes draw a locus lines a b or c d or anything okay so this one is a locus line this one also locus line okay so front view and top view lines completed Yes, this is the front view, line fifty-five, and uh, top view. So not given, but just uh, represent the top view. Okay. Next, so draw the horizontal lines from A dash uh, and uh, from A. Okay. Next, measure the angle between these two lines. How much? Sixty. So uh, given, given uh, in this question, then fifty. Okay. so top view and front view completed yes next next you need to calculate the uh, true length and true inclination so very simple okay so you can uh, draw the true inclination very simple yes see here yes take center radius in autocad software okay center radius and take this radius okay so the radius is uh, how much okay so pink color line is the radius a dash okay so this point is the b dash that means the radius of the circle is a dash b dash okay a dash b dash okay after that completion of the circle so remove unnecessary portion that means this one okay so remove unnecessary portion like this yes next draw vertical line okay so from this point to locus lines okay so now i am taking so different color okay yes next so join the line from here to here so join the line from this point to this point okay so this is the this is the true length of this inclined lines okay yes uh, this is this one is uh, represent with a comma b to a comma b to next completed so this is the true uh, length with the vp okay you need to uh, draw the true inclination sorry true length okay so with the hp okay very simple yes see here now i am taking another circle now i am taking another circle okay but radius of the circle equal to how much a to b okay so take ab radius and draw the circle so after that so remove extra portions or unnecessary portions of the circle okay yes like this yes next very simple okay so draw the on vertical line up to uh, this point okay yes next draw true length 
align with the HP okay yes these two are this one and this one is the true length and this is the front view and this is the top view okay yes next uh, again uh, in term, uh, calculate the angle true inclination that means angle between this line and this line yes how much 31 degrees how much 31 degrees is the true inclination with the HP okay uh, and also measure the angle between these two lines okay so 48 degrees is the true inclination with the VP and this 31 degrees is the true inclination with the HP okay so after that so highlight so these four lines okay by using okay so layer command okay so this is the final answer very simple so in this a uh, problem and the a uh, front view and a uh, front view angle given and top view angle given okay so use these three parameters and complete this problem okay